Welcome to this open source ecology video on generating G code for your D3D plotter. What we're going to do today is we're going to look at outline text and we're going to look at a few things about outline text. This is good when you're trying to make a big font with your 3D plotter. In another video we'll talk about Hershey text and your single stroke font and where that will be more applicable to certain scenarios such as if you're trying to make small uh, writing like text. So let's jump right in. Since we're using our Linux OSC version 2 we simply go into graphics and we grab Inkscape which is programmed in. In another video I'll tell you about how to make templates but in this video I already have my template ready so this is my general plotter template that's set up with the max build dimensions of the D3D and I control and use my scroll wheel to zoom in. So we're just going to do something real simple here. We're going to we're going to make the very classic hello world. All right. That's not really the font I'm going for right now, so I'm going to go up into my font menu. I'm going to find something kind of like nice and simple, maybe on the blocky side. Um, we'll just do... We'll just do the Ubuntu font. Oh. Hello world. Okay, so there we are, and I think we can make this a little bigger. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to make it all the way up till 40. We need even more than that, 64. I mean, this is big, right? Now, if you just save this as G-code, I'm going to tell you what happens. It'll kind of do a little default hatch mark. But and it may work for you and it may not work for you. But what you can do is you can do outline text. That's the first thing we're going to look at. Um, to give an idea of how that is, we go and we highlight it and we go to object. And the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to object to path. All right, this makes. Um, you can see now that it's a path. Right before these nodes wouldn't come up. If you're not seeing these nodes, um, you don't. You haven't succeeded. Um, but we've made the object a path, and then you go ahead and um, you're just going to want to ungroup it, and you're going to want to union it. All right. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to pull up your fill and stroke. If you don't have your fill and stroke here, you need to go to objects, fill and stroke, or control, shift F. You're going to cancel that fill and you're going to put a stroke on there. And now you have your stroke. And now I'm going to show you what happens if you just save like so. So first I'm going to save as an SVG. Okay, that's just for, I think it's a good idea to do, um, in case you want to edit it later. Um, then the next thing is that we will save as the G code plotter. I have another video about what kind of settings you need to look at here. Uh, but for now, these are the settings that I have that work for the D3D Universal that is going to be printing this. So I've saved as G-code. All right, hello world G-code. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to open up NC Viewer. This will help us get a preview of our code. Um, we'll click this little file icon, and there's our G-code, and we open it up. And let's watch. Let's go a little faster. So as you can see, it goes and it draws an outline 
of all the letters. This is about what you want to see. All right, but we have other options. Let's say you did want to fill this in. So you can download some extensions for that. And they'll be called Hatchville. This is probably going to be included in the next Linux OSC release. Um, but you can also download this plugin yourself. So you can set up your live preview. So check it out. This is just kind of like a nice line. And that's what it'll look like. Your, your printer will kind of um, draw the lines like so. You can also crosshatch. And look, you know, it'll probably take a little bit longer, but you know, I bet if you did this, it would be kind of hard to uh, tell it that you even used a pen plotter. Um, let's go back to about here. And we're going to click apply. And then let's see how that works. So we'll save as. We're going to do hatched. And we're going to click save. Now we'll open up NC Viewer. Oops, did we not finish saving? It went too fast. Okay, there, there's our hatch G code. And so this is how the pin plotter would act now. As you can see, it just goes down and it sort of fills in the uh, hatching. So this is how to work with outline text.